Well, we've got some very mild air in place above freezing temperatures today, tomorrow, and several of them still in sight. And that is going to play into the next two storm systems, some rain and snow tomorrow. And a bigger storm next week could be another mess for Minnesota. So temperatures are well above normal across the whole central US into southern Canada, about 10 to 15 degrees above normal today. Normal highs are in the low to mid 20s generally across the state, upper teens along the international border. And we're seeing 30s pretty much statewide, even near 40 for some spots. And if we kept records aloft, we don't really. It's a complicated situation, obviously not easy to do, uh, especially historically, but temperatures aloft would be near record levels, uh, 99 percentile or even more so the temperatures that have been overhead for the last 24 hours. In fact, if we look at the weather balloon data, you go up uh, above the ground this morning, about 3,400 feet from the uh, balloon that was launched, 52 degrees at 4,600 feet this morning. So spring-like if you go aloft. Uh, and the way we heat up through the year is that the sun heats up the ground, that heats up the air above it, which heats the air above it, etc. So obviously when we have a lower sun angle, and cloudy skies and snow cover it has a big impact. So temperatures in the 30s today, if we had sunny skies and no snow with the same December sunshine, we'd be in the mid 40s, which would be near record territory. And if it was June, which of course it's nowhere near, but if we had that level of sunshine, it would be in the low 70s. So it gives you an idea of, of how those temperatures aloft can really impact things. Of course, speaking of records, not quite record snowfall, but enough to be some pretty significant rankings near 20 inches. That's the 12th snowiest December so far and the 10th snowiest season to date so far for the Twin Cities. Now we are gonna see a little mixture of some rain and snow tomorrow and then a narrow swath of snow develops from Southwest to Northeast, basically a uh, Worthington Pipestone line up the North Shore. And there could be a very narrow area of some decent snowfall. Now the official forecast from the Weather Service is kind of downplaying this, but most of the models do create uh, a narrow swath of some more significant snowfall. Some models are going a little crazy with even some isolated four or five inch amounts. Twin Cities is gonna be on the eastern edge of that, the way it looks, but it's something we're gonna have to watch later today into tomorrow where that narrow band develops. Some slushy accumulation looking likely at least. And then the system Monday to Tuesday could be a headache for forecasting and a literal mess. Uh, the American model is a little further north and west with the track that puts us on the warm side, keeps us in the rain, snow for northern Minnesota. European model though, significantly more southeast, and this keeps us just enough on the snow side where we could be talking significant snow. So that's why you see a big difference in snowfall amounts. So don't pay attention to the amounts. This is way too early for that, but the European model has a very large area of heavier snow that includes just barely the Twin Cities, but the other models, not quite so much, more to the north and west. So the, the, the favored track right now is that more northwest track where we'd see rain and then probably some snow. But with this mild air sticking around, it's hard to get just all snow out of any of these systems. So while the pattern has switched to a very mild one, it still remains pretty active. Also some snow showers possible New Year's Eve night. Of course, a lot of people would be out and about. Not a big deal, but maybe a half inch or so, so it could make things briefly slick or slushy at least. So plan accordingly, but the bigger system is that one we're watching for Monday, Tuesday.